Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine. We're here with Jason from AMD. We're going to talk about graphics card and Thunderbolt 3 next. So, AMD, Intel, you know, for some people they think, oh, that might burn the tongue if you're, if you're saying that, but there's really a good partnership between Intel and AMD on a lot of things, including Thunderbolt 3. Correct. Uh, so I'm with the Radeon Technologies Group. Uh, Radeon graphics are used on many different platforms and many different systems, whether it be consoles and PCs. Uh, we love gaming. And uh, Intel embraces gaming, and Thunderbolt 3 with external graphics is going to embrace gaming too for a lot of different platforms. So oh, yeah. we're really excited about that. You're using Thunderbolt 3 exactly the same way as if it was in an Intel machine, correct? Or is there any other protocols that add to that? The kind of functionality we're adding is uh, the option for a user to upgrade and uh, and try out new graphics uh, capabilities on their system to allow for you know a richer gaming experience. Should they? want that choice and, and the mobility that comes with it uh, as well. Yeah, definitely. So it doesn't matter what the processor is, as long as the graphics are there to make for a better gaming experience. And some of the key metrics right now in terms of gaming uh, are changing. A few years back, we weren't talking about things like latency. With the Thunderbolt 3 connection, we're able to maintain a low latency gaming <laughs> scenario. So things like VR and uh, and uh, frame pacing and, and high frame rates are possible now, and it's really exciting. We talk about the Windows platform, but uh, what about Thunderbolt 3 on, on the Linux for some of these lin Linux gamers out there? Well, uh, Linux gaming is really, it's got a lot of steam behind it. I hate to be cheesy, but I mean, Steam is supporting a lot of games on Linux. And from AMD's perspective, uh, we really just need to provide great drivers. And, and we've been working really hard on that uh, with our Crimson drivers. We now ship Crimson drivers on Linux as well. The gap that may have existed between the Windows and, and Linux driver support is, is uh, closing rapidly yeah. and we're really proud of where how far we've come in the last year we actually just launched our crimson relive driver and uh that's got a, a a large set of new features that um are really tailored to gaming awesome. were there any other uh, things that you guys debuted uh, at ces here on the graphics front uh at ces we've actually been talking about our new next generation architecture called vega okay and that's going to be our return our triumphant return to high-end gaming uh, it's a high-end graphics card. We're really excited about it. It's going to be uh, shipping first half of 2017, so it's coming up really soon. Where do people go for more information? Uh, go to Radeon.com. All right. Well, there you go, Jason. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot for watching that CES video. There's a lot more CES videos coming down the line. Check it out over at Geekazine.com or YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead and subscribe to the channels and definitely geek out.